General Motors is trying to find new roads in the industry of self-driving cars. Get ready for a showdown between two of the biggest names in the auto industry. General Motors is going up against Tesla with a new self-driving system that is shaking up the industry. GM's system is a game changer in the world of autonomous driving. It has advanced LiDAR sensors, high-definition maps, and AI-powered algorithms. But can it compete with how Tesla uses cameras? Buckle up and join us for a head-to-head -head comparison that will keep you on the edge of your seat. If you want to know more, Tech Addicts is the only place for you, so let's look into it right away. General Motors just released a new self-driving system that changes the game and competes with Tesla's Autopilot. This makes the race for fully autonomous cars even more exciting. GM's system is making waves in the industry and sending shockwaves through the competition. It uses high-precision LiDAR sensors and AI-powered algorithms, but can it beat Tesla's camera-based system and lead the way in the revolution toward self-driving cars? General Motors, one of the largest automobile manufacturers in the world, is taking a risky step to compete with Tesla, the current market leader in the field for self-driving cars. The most well-known system is Autopilot, which is offered by Tesla and has been available for purchase for many years at this point. It has been lauded for the remarkable features it possesses, which includes the ability to change lanes automatically, call for the vehicle to come pick you up, and even detect and react to the presence of traffic signals. Concerns and problems have been raised, though, as they always are when a new technology is introduced. Accidents have occurred as a result of certain drivers abusing the system or becoming overly dependent on it. In addition, the system still has significant shortcomings, such as difficulties in driving through construction areas or overcoming unanticipated roadblocks. Here is where General Motors enters the picture. The technology for GM self-driving cars has been in development for several years, and the corporation is now prepared to move on to the next stage of research. Here in today's video, we will take a more in-depth look at GM's brand new autonomous driving system and discuss how it stacks up against Tesla's autopilot. We will also investigate the possible effects that autonomous vehicles could have on our culture and discuss what the future may hold for us. So saddle up and let's get started. The current state of self-driving cars. The idea of cars that drive themselves is no longer considered science fiction. Companies including Tesla, Waymo, Cruise, and others are already putting them through their paces on public roads in the United States. These businesses are working to improve the safety, dependability, and overall usability of the self-driving car technology that they are developing and refining. Their goal is to make it more available to the general public. At this time, the self-driving automobile technology most frequently utilized by the general public is Tesla's autopilot system. It has been in operation for some years at this point, and it can be found on all of Tesla's vehicles. Autopilot is a system that allows a vehicle to autonomously steer, accelerate, and brake, utilizing a variety of cameras, sensors, and computer software. In addition, it is equipped with functions such as the ability to change lanes automatically, call the vehicle to come pick you up, and detect and react to the presence of traffic signals. General Motors subsidiary Cruise is also working on creating technology for autonomous vehicles at this time. Cruise has been conducting tests of its autonomous vehicles in San Francisco for the past few years, and the company intends to establish a ride-hailing service that makes use of autonomous vehicles in the not-too-distant future. There are still a lot of issues and worries that need to be answered concerning self-driving cars, even though they have the potential to completely change the way we think about transportation. For instance, how will automobiles capable of driving themselves react when they encounter unforeseen roadblocks, such as those caused by construction or accidents? What kind of interactions will they have with human motorists and pedestrians? And what will the repercussions be for the labor market and the economy as a whole? Despite these worries, the sector of self-driving cars is expanding at a rapid rate, and businesses like General Motors are working hard to ensure that they remain at the forefront of this transition. In the following part of our video, we are going to take a more in-depth look at GM's brand new self-driving technology and see how it stacks up against Tesla's autopilot. GM's new self-driving system 
The latest and finest hands-free driving technology from GM is called Ultra Cruise, and it is an improvement on the company's previous offering. GM launched this system, and although the new Ultra Cruise system covers more roads in North America and has more technology than the current GM Super Cruise system, it is still only a level 2 self-driving system, which means that you need to be prepared to take over the driving at any time. To compete with Tesla's Autopilot, which has mainly dominated the discourse regarding automatic driving, General Motors has developed more refined technology. On the other hand, an increasing number of car manufacturers are working on the creation of their very own autonomous driving systems to participate in that conversation. A blend of cameras. GM's latest self-driving system is called Ultra because it has several extra layers of self-driving tech. The system uses a LiDAR system behind the windscreen, a new computer system, and almost a dozen short and long-range radars. The long-range cameras have 8 megapixels and will be able to see things like traffic signs, traffic lights, other vehicles, and pedestrians. The short-range cameras can create a radius of up to 90 meters to see if there are people crossing the street or vehicles in adjacent lanes. All of this gives GM cars the ability to make a 3D model of their surroundings from any angle. When it comes out, the Ultra Cruise system will let you drive without using your hands in 95% of all driving situations because it will work on 2 million roads in North America and Canada. Even though you don't have to use your hands, you still have to pay attention to the road. GM makes sure of this by putting a camera above the steering column that keeps an eye on the driver's head position and where his or her eyes are on the road. Coming now to the Celestique. The Cadillac Celestique, which is scheduled to go into production at the end of the year, is going to be the first vehicle in General Motors' Ultra Cruise lineup. Throughout the long run, GM intends for its Ultra Cruise to be available on virtually all public roadways in North America. After the release of the Celestique, General Motors has stated that it plans to expand the self-driving technology it has developed for the Celestique to more of its vehicles, particularly those with varying price points and in additional locations. Because so many automakers are developing their systems for automated driving, the day may not be too far off when all electric vehicles will be required to have some kind of hands-free driving capability to be marketable. However, given that we are still in the very early stages of the development of this game-changing technology, there is still a significant possibility to achieve the honor of having the safest self-driving system. A head-to-head -head comparison. Tesla and General Motors have taken different paths when it comes to self-driving technology. The autopilot system from Tesla has long used cameras and radar sensors, while GM's system is based on LiDAR. The autopilot system in a Tesla is not meant to be a fully autonomous driving system, but rather to help the driver. The system has advanced features like adaptive cruise control, lane departure warning, and automatic emergency braking. It uses cameras and radar sensors to find obstacles and navigate the road. The new self-driving system from General Motors, on the other hand, is meant to be fully self-driving. The system uses advanced LiDAR sensors to find obstacles and find their way around the road. It also has high-definition maps and AI-powered algorithms that help it make better driving decisions. The LiDAR-based system from GM is more accurate and safer than the camera-based system from Tesla. LiDAR is a laser-based system that can find things very accurately, while cameras can sometimes have trouble in low light or when there are a lot of other things to look at. Also, GM's system can make high-definition maps of the road, which helps it make better decisions about how to drive. In contrast, Tesla's system is based on real-time information from cameras and sensors, which is not always as reliable. Even though GM's system has these benefits, it could also have some problems. One reason is that LiDAR sensors are expensive, which could make the system more expensive to make than Tesla's system, which uses cameras. Also, weather conditions like rain or fog can affect LiDAR sensors, which could make the system less effective in some situations. Overall, both Tesla and General Motors have made impressive self-driving systems that push the limits of what is possible with this kind of technology. 
Still, one thing is clear. The competition between these two companies is driving innovation in the industry and getting us closer to a world with fully autonomous cars. So there you have it, folks. We dug deep into the exciting world of self-driving cars and compared General Motors and Tesla, two of the biggest companies in the field. Both companies have tried to push the limits of self-driving technology, but as we've seen, they do things in very different ways. No matter if it's GM's LiDAR-based system or Tesla's camera-based autopilot, the future of driving looks more autonomous than ever. Hey, we're glad you could join us today, and we hope you found this comparison interesting. Keep your eyes on the road until next time, or let your car do it for you. Stay tuned for more news soon. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel.